Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Coming back at you again with another lesson by Harakha Khurash Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the topic of this video um, is going in on how they're going to um, further attack this truth. They're going to further come up against this truth. Um, right now, the GMS Des Moines page, GMS Des Moines 2, is um, on a strike. Try to appeal it, but uh, it didn't work. You know, they, they denied it. Really, they strike the they strike the page for, for really no reason, but they found a reason, all right, and they, they holding on to it. Um, but uh, I, I clicked on this video and um, watched a little bit of it. And right in the beginning... Um, the Spirit gave me a lesson topic off of uh, what the guy to the left said. His name is Myron. All right. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to just play the clip and then we'll hop into the lesson. Lord's will is not going to be too long. And I don't want Rata's eyes going to be edifying. Awesome. But before we do that, guys, I just want to say this. Rumble.com slash Fresh and Fit, guys. Check us out over there. The Matrix is definitely attacking us. All of us. Um, all of us. Our, our boy Casey in Columbia just got hacked, attacked. Yeah. We're getting attacked. Um, obviously, they got Andrew, Andrew. in jail right now un unjustly. Uh, and, um, yeah, it's just BS, man. It, it, basically, the chickens are coming to roost for anyone that makes any type of content that has male self-improvement. Uh, Donovan Sharp's getting attacked right now. You know, so go subscribe to him as well, guys. Donovan Sharp, that's our homie. The only uh, safe space is Rumble right now, guys. Yeah. Real talk, for how long? Yeah. We don't know. Real talk. Yeah, I want to harp on that point, so keep that in mind. He said the only safe place right now is Rumble, which is another which is another site where you can post videos. I know the Apostle Tahar, he's been on that uh that Rumble uh, heavy, you know, Odyssey, Rumble, these other these other pages outside of YouTube that's not as censored and sensitive, all right? But uh, he said, we don't know how long. The only safe place right now is Rumble, and, and we don't know how long. And that's not going to last for, for, for uh, much longer, all right? Esau got everything on lock. He got, he got, he's allowing Rumble to, uh, to be a little bit more loose, all right, w uh, with the censorship. But it's not going to last long, and we've been pushing this, starting with the apostles and the elders. We've been pushing uh, a censorship, okay, because Esau, Edom, he wants total control. And if you're speaking anything contrary to his agenda, then he's going to come He's gonna come and shut you up. And, you know, guys like uh, Fresh and Fit and uh, everybody else he mentioned, um, different guys in the manosphere, the Red Pill community, he uh, mentioned Andrew Tate being locked up unjustly. Those guys are, um, they're not as big as a, they're not as big as a threat as um, as we are, okay? As the men that's pushing the truth, okay? He, he talked about if you're pushing male self-improvement, they're coming to attack you. They're going to try to cancel you, okay? Well, we're pushing the ultimate male self-improvement. We're pushing Israelite male self-improvement. And that's what Esau Edom hates the most. In the book of Psalms 82, it says that they took crafty counsel. Let's just read that. Let's read that. This is the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 82. And a, a point, one of the main points is the video I did um, two days ago, it, it, had like, it had like 20 views and they strike the video down. We have what? Uh, on GMS Des Moines, we have like 1,300, 1,200 subscribers or something. Small YouTube page. All right. And, and they still make sure that they that they're monitoring our videos, that they're, you know, uh, uh, flagging, uh, striking our page, you know, because it's a threat. All right. And soon they're going to cut soon. They're going to you know, they're going to cut the whole Internet off, really. OK. But anyways, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse. Psalms, chapter like yeah, Psalms, chapter 83. And I'll just start at verse 1. It says, Keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For, lo, thine enemies make a tomo. And the reason why I'm saying, it says God, but the reason the word God in the Hebrew is Allah, which goes to, to which, which means power. Okay? So it says, For, lo, it's speaking of the Most High, Yahweh. That's his true name. The true, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. All right? The true name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. That's the Lashawan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew, 
the holy tongue. All right, the language that the angels speak, the language that the heavenly Father and His Son speaks. All right, it's prophecy that our language would be returned, uh, returned back onto us. All right, in these last days that we may call upon the name of the heavenly Father. Right, and that's what they don't want. Okay, like I said, these these guys aren't really a big threat. All right, you you teaching men, you you telling men, all right, get off your ass and, and make and go make some money. We are, we are already that's something our apostles been pushed. To be responsible, to have a job, to have your paperwork right, your license, okay? You riding around, don't be riding around without a license. Don't be riding around, get your shit together, basically. The, the apostles been taught us that before there was a so-called red pill community, before there was a manosphere, okay? The apostles been t teaching that. The scriptures, the scriptures say what? If you don't work, you don't eat, all right? The script, the, the 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 apostles, you know, through the scripture, through the Holy Spirit, been telling us that a man need to rule over his house, as it says in the book of Genesis. As that's the, the that's what the Bible pushes, the the Bible pushes masculinity, okay. The Bible puts the woman in her proper place, okay. So what they're gonna try to do is they're gonna try to come against the men, all right. Most importantly, now guys like this, they're gonna get they're gonna get um. Shut it up, right? They're gonna they're gonna put um be put on quiet, right? Be put on hush mode as well. Okay, but their main target and the main threat is the men that's pushing this 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 word, all right? Just pushing the truth. As it says in the book of Second Peter, the second chapter, the second verse, it says, Many shall follow after their pernicious their pernicious ways by reason of whom the ways of truth shall be evil spoken of. We have the truth. These guys ain't pushing the truth. They're telling you to make money, a fiat currency. That, that's what they're telling you to invest in. You need to invest in making more money. All right? Getting your shit together in this world. And you, you got to have your shit together, but, all right, I'm not saying not to have your shit together. Obviously, you got to make money. If you don't work, you don't eat like the scriptures say. But there, we, we're, there's a bigger picture, okay, that's beyond America. That's beyond this, uh, 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 this, this dollar that's collapsing, okay? Anyways, this is um, Psalms 83 in verse 3. It says, Salakia verse 2, it says, For lo, thine enemies make a tomo, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. It says, they, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from, cut them off from being a nation, and Salakia, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So that was their goal. Their goal was to what? To, to, to discontinue us from our heritage. They show you that in the movie Roots. Your name is Toby. Whip him. Nah, I'm Kunta. Whip him some more. Your name is Toby, boy. Whip him. Whip him. Nah, I'm Kunta. I'm Kunta. Right? They beat, they beat the heritage out of us, man. Right? Which was all biblical prophecy. Right. It says in the book of Jeremiah 17 and 4, it says thou even thyself shall be discontinued from thy uh, uh, from thine heritage, man. In the book of Deuteronomy, it says that we will be uh, proverbs and bywords. All right. Some of the proverbs and bywords is black, African-American. OK, Negro. Th those are all, all all bywords. You're not black. You're not Negro. You're not African-American. African is a is a Roman uh, general. Right? Leo Scipius, Leo Scipius Africanus, whatever the fuck his name is, man. All right? Amer uh, African American. That American comes from who? Um, uh, Italian navigator. Uh, an Italian navigator. Amadigo Vespucci. Right? So you calling yourself African American, you calling yourself after the name of two so called white men. Those are all bywords. Your true nationality is an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. This is what they didn't want you to know. Okay? They're not worried about a nigga making a little bit of crumbs. Okay? They're not worried about a nigga, you know, having a, a couple females. That's, that's not a threat to them in the times that we're living in right now. All right? The bigger threat is our people waking up and coming into remembrance of who we are. As it says in the book of Baruch, it says, In the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves and think upon my name. That name is powerful, man. Anybody saying that the name doesn't matter, the name is not important, you can call the Lord whatever you want, you can call him Yo Play Yoga like IUIC said, them niggas is off, all right? M more, more than likely, they're paid off to say that, all right? Because us having that name 
brings salvation. It says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. In the book of Acts, the fourth chapter, the 12th verse, it says there is no other name given amongst men whereby we must be saved. So that name holds power. That name holds salvation. Our enemies don't want us to be saved. All right. They want us to remain captives. All right. So that's why this truth, it says what? Uh, in the book of John, the eighth chapter, the truth shall make thee free. Okay, they don't want us to be free. They want us to be slaves forever. And that's why they're going to come in with that MOTB. Right? Revelations 13 and 16, he caused a thaw both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive an M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their forehead. All right? And without that M-A-R-K, you will not be able to buy or sell. So these guys pushing, yeah, you got to chase the bag. Fuck these bitches. Chase the bag and the bitches will come after that. The bag is about to collapse. <laughs> the bag is not about to have any value. Okay? The, the U.S. dollar is not about to have any purchasing power. And then you're going to have to get that micro C-hip. All right. If you want to if you want to keep uh, 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 the riches of this world. Right. If you want to have access to the Agora. Right. To the to the marketplace. If you want to do business here in America, you're going to have to get that uh, that that. Um, Let's see. I got to be careful with my words. You're going to have to get that grain of rice and plant it into you. All right. That digital all. All right, so that they can track you subdermally, right? Even then, we're gonna have to watch you. See, we got we have to watch more than anybody. We gotta watch what we gotta say, even more than these other Israelite groups, man. We gotta watch what we gotta say because we're public enemy number one. I already quoted that Peter says that uh, ways of truth shall be evil spoken of in the book of Isaiah. It says he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey, Me meaning what? Make himself a target. Paul said, "Am I become your enemy because I tell you the truth?" So we public enemy number one because we got the whole truth and nothing but the truth. We ain't telling you no lies concerning no part of the doctrine. All right. And if anybody want to challenge, actually, motherfuckers been challenging that for decades. All right, starting with the apostles and the elders, and guess what? They all failed miserably. The Lord said that he'll give us a mouth in which our adversaries will not be able to gainsay nor resist. All right, you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. All right? It, it can't be stopped. Two plus two is four, period, point blank. Ain't got, we ain't got no holes in our doctrine because our doctrine came from Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai's doctrine came from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. So it's bulletproof in the book of Psalms, chapter... um. Since I'm already in Psalms, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 12 and verse 6. It says, the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. So th this is pure words, man. This is pure truth. Okay? No lies uh, uh, mingled in it. And because we have the pure truth, this devil is going to attack us. All right? This is the, this is the true male self-improvement that they're looking to attack, that they're looking to stop. In the book of Sirach, it says, he that teacheth his enemy, or Salakia, he that teacheth his son. Let me just read it. This is the book of Sirach. Damn, Salakia. I'm holding the phone in one hand and trying to flip my apocrypha in the other hand. This is the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 30 and verse 1. He that loveth his son causeth him off to feel the rod. And that's why they, demon, they start to demonize that, man. All right, you... Punishing your children, okay? Uh, you you got to do that, man. And that's that's how we was raised, okay? That that's that's how you get a child in order. That shows you that you love your child, right? He that loveth his son causeth him off to feel the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. You gotta. Hey, the scriptures say that um don't be uh, ashamed of causing your son to uh, feel the rod often. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. You got to put you, 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 you got to um, beat that folly out of him. It says folly is in the child when he is in his youth. OK, so that rod is going to get that folly out of him. It's going to make him a man. Right. It's verse two. It says, but Esau don't want your son to become a man, an Israelite man. More importantly, he wants him to be a nigga with his pants on the with his pants around his fucking ankles uh, on the block all goddamn day. Right. It says he that chast chastiseth his son shall have joy in him and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy and before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. So he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. And this is what we're doing. We're teaching our people, most importantly, the men, because it's that's that's who the Lord is raising up. Right. And everything else will follow after. Right. In the book of um, Genesis, the Lord said that he made his covenant with Abraham because he knew that he would teach his seed after him. Right. He would teach his family the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord is speaking to the men and everything else is going to fall in order after that. 
All right. So we're teaching the men of our nation. You're an Israelite. You're not so-called black. You're not so-called Hispanic or so-called Native American. All right. And we also have Israelites scattered across the four corners of the earth. All right. Scattered amongst these other nations. It's going to come out of that. Right. It says he that teacheth his son grieve if the enemy teacheth them what? All right. Did you teach him how to talk to women? <laughs> you know, that's what a lot of these. Yeah. Now, I'll give these guys uh, a little bit more credit there. They they got more content than that. I mean, but uh, nonetheless, they're, they're no threat on the on the um, grand scale of things. OK, you, you may teach about. Um, oh, well, this video is going into uh, working out um, uh, finances, you know. But the again, the biggest threat is the scriptures, is this word. This word is what's breaking down Esau, Edom. It says that the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world and then shall the end come. That's why they did that whole uh, smoke and mirror stage show with Kyrie Irving and, and, and Kanye West. All right, because they're, they're making their move and they're setting the stage to demonize this word, to demonize this truth. Right? Um, and that's it on that point. Let's go from there to the book of, and like I said, this wasn't, this wasn't going to be too long. Um, let's go from there to the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and verse 20. It says, matter of fact, yeah, this is Wisdom of Solomon. I'll start at verse 17. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 17. For the very true beginning of her, the her that is talking about, it's talking about wisdom. Right. Is the desire of discipline. So wisdom teaches us discipline. That's something that a man ought to have. We're going to read a precept uh, going in on that topic as well. And the care of discipline is love and the love is the keeping of her laws and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption and incorruption maketh us near unto Yahweh. They don't want us to be near unto the heavenly father, Yahweh. They don't want us to be near unto Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai in the name of his only begotten son. That's why they push forth sin. That's why they push forth this alphabet shit. That's why they push forth uh, femininity on our men and masculinity on our women. All right. That's why they're pushing forth so much sin in the atmosphere. All right. Because it says in the book of Isaiah that sin has separated you from your power. Sin has separated you from your God. OK. They don't want us to be near to our power because when we're near to our power, none of our enemies can stand before us. Even Achan knew that. Right. Even Achan in the book of um, Judas was well aware of that. That when we're uh, locked in with our power, can't nobody fuck with us. Matter of fact, let's read that. This is the book of Judith, chapter 5. I'm going to get straight to the point. This is Judith, chapter 5, and verse... Shit, there's a couple points in here, really. Bible Koshah, bear with me. Let me just look for... What I want. Yeah, I said I said Aiken, I meant a core. A core. If I said Aiken, I meant a core. I'll just start here. This is Judith five and five. Then said Achor, the captain of all the sons of Ammon, let my Lord now hear a word from the mouth of thy servant, and I will declare unto thee the truth concerning this people, speaking of the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which dwelleth near thee and inhabited it the hill country. And there shall no lie come out of the mouth of thy servant. This people are descendants, are descended of the Chaldeans. And they shall journ here to in Mesopotamia, speaking about Abraham, right? Because they would not follow the gods of their fathers, which were in the land of Chaldea, for they left the way of their ancestors and worshiped the power of heaven, the power whom they knew. So they cast them out of the face of they cast so like his soul. They cast them out from the face of their gods. And they fled into Mesopotamia and sojourned there many days. Then their power commanded them to depart from the place where they sojourned. And say, I don't, I don't want to read all of this for time's sake. Baba Kosha Salak, if you're unfamiliar with it, you, you ought to read it yourself. But I'm going to jump down. Um, this is Judith chapter 5. And verse uh, 17, and whilst they sinned not before their power, they prospered because the power, the God that hated iniquity was with them. So if we're with our power and we're not uh, uh, sinning, we're going to prosper. They don't want to see us prosper. Right. They don't want to see us win. OK, they want to see us down at the bottom. OK, 
And that's why they created a system to keep us down at the bottom. But now this truth is sprung up. Faith is flourishing and we see them going down and we see Israel being lifted up. Right. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground and their cities were taken by the enemies. But now are they returned to their God? Just like now. We return to our God. We return to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And are come up from the places. And really, when you read up, he was going into the history. These devils know our history. These devils know that we weren't just some, we weren't just some uncivilized niggas swinging off of branches on the west coast of Africa. All right. We had civilizations in Africa, right? In the in the uh, specifically the west coast of Africa. And before we were in the west coast of Africa, we were in the land of Israel. Okay? Uh, 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 the northern kingdom, so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, they had great civilizations and kingdoms, all right, over here in the uh, western hemisphere before this devil came and corrupted everything. They know that we ain't just some savages, some monkeys, okay? They know that we're the royal people, that we're the chosen people of the Heavenly Father, the sons of God, okay? It says, but now are they returned to their God and <clears throat> are come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country for it was desolate now therefore my lord and governor if there be any error in this people and they sin against their power and we're teach we're telling our people what turn from your sins turn from your wickedness and return back to our god that's how we're going to prosper. That's how we're going to get from the bottom. That's how we're going to improve as a nation, not as an individual, as a nation. Right. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their God before them. And we become a reproach before all the world. And that's what's going to happen. Right. There's no iniquity in the elect. It says in the book of Psalm 32, it says, blessed is he whose sins is not imputed on to him and whose um, whose iniquity is not mentioned. Roughly paraphrasing. I'm right here. This is the book of Psalm 32 and verse one. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile. And that applies to the elect, the ones that's abiding in Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. Whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His blood covers us. Who's a so-called black man. All right. And this image that you have of the son of the heavenly father. Of some uh, some white guy. Some soft puny soft ass nigga. That's, that's the uh, um, exact opposite of, of how our Lord is. He's an austere man. He's a man of war. All right. And he's coming. It says in the book of Psalms. Uh, Salakia, Revelation 19. He's coming to wage war on righteousness. All right. And to bring down all authority and dominion and to set up a new heaven and a new earth where in dwelleth righteousness. In other words, he's coming to take over. He's not coming to take part. He's coming to take over and ain't going to be nothing that you can do to stop it. And he's going to raise up his elect from the dunghill and sit them amongst princes. I don't want right to Zom of that number. OK, when the saints come marching in back in wisdom of Solomon, chapter six and verse 19, it says, and corruption maketh us near unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. All right. This wisdom that we're pushing. All right. Is bringing is going to bring a king is going to bring this kingdom down. There's only room for one sheriff in town. <laughs> Two people can't sit on the throne. OK, so this wisdom this truth that we're pushing is bringing this place down. I quoted it earlier in Matthew. The gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world and then shall the end come. It's bringing this place down and, it, and is um, erecting a new kingdom, a new heaven, a new earth. It starts with this word. It starts with this knowledge and wisdom and understanding that we're pushing. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye king to the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. Let's jump over to wisdom of Solomon chapter 8 in verse For time's sake, I'm going to just get straight to the point. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 5. It says, if riches be a... Now, this is Solomon, right? Solomon, who had multiple wives. I know uh, the guy on the right, his, his name is Fresh, or that's his YouTube name or whatever. His name is Fresh. Um, I've seen him quote the Bible multiple times, 
right? Um, Isaiah 4 and 1. Someone mentioned Isaiah 4 and 1, and there was a clip of him. He's like, what? That's in the Bible? He mentions uh, King Solomon. I seen a clip of him mention King Solomon having, you know, uh, a, a thousand women. You know, well, we're reading about King Solomon right now. A so-called black man, the wisest king outside of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which is the same spirit. Okay, he that had ears to hear, let him hear. Anyways, this is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8. In verse 5, it says, if riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? So this wisdom that we have makes us richer than anybody. All right. We're not millionaires. We're not making six figures in this world. That's what makes you a high value man. Right. If you're making six figures, you're making a certain amount of money. Well, the money is not about to have any value. As it says in the book of Genesis, it said that the money failed in Egypt. Well, money's about to fail again in modern day Egypt being America. Why is there an Egyptian pyramid on the back of your dollar bill? Because this is modern day Egypt and that dollar is going to fail just like in ancient Egypt. Then what's going to make you high value? This wisdom, right? Which is richer than all things. Nothing can be compared to what we have. It says that the Lord has chosen the poor of this world, but rich in faith. Now, we're not poor to where we're begging out of trash or uh, that we're, you know, begging on the corner and digging out of trash cans. The Lord gives us our daily bread and we are content with that. OK, it says. Um, and if prudence work, who of all that are is more cunning, more a more cunning workman than she speaking of wisdom. Right. It says, and if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues and she teach she teaches temperance and prudence and justice and fortitude, which are such things as men cannot have nothing. It's like it as men can have nothing more, more profitable in their life. So we have the most profitable thing in having this word and having this wisdom. And going back into that Sirach, that Ecclesiastic, that, that, that Ecclesiasticus, he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. So us teaching this wisdom to our nation is grieving the enemy. So he, the, his biggest target is us. His biggest target is the preachers of truth. Okay. Is the prophets, the servants of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. All right. So having that said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechach, Rosh. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rechach, is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. And the Thamash, Naka, Ba'ala, Zekom, Yishar, Shara, get up on us. Today, elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, never well. Shalom, Wahab, Labaki, Yishar, Shara, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Achim, you must keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful stay stay prayed up salvation draw off nine and redemption is near to believe shalom